Hi, this is Dr. Margoob, and welcome to this podcast on homogeneous blue lesions and the many faces of metastatic melanoma. A patient presents with this new bluish macule on her deltoid. She does have a previous history of melanoma that was excised from her arm. On dermoscopy, it reveals a homogeneous blue color. The differential diagnosis for homogeneous blue lesions includes non-melanocytic lesions, including basal cell carcinoma, vascular lesions, Kaposi sarcoma, and tattoo. Here's a homogeneous blue lesion that proved to be a basal cell carcinoma, a hemangioma, and other vascular lesions such as angiokeratoma and thrombosed hemangiomas can also on occasion manifest a homogeneous blue color. Kaposi sarcoma and radiation tattoo. In the melanocytic lesion group, the differential diagnosis includes blue nevus and metastatic melanoma. While most homogeneous blue lesions prove to be blue nevi, in the right context, such as a new or changing lesion in a patient with a history of melanoma, then one needs to consider the possibility of metastatic melanoma. In our patient, the lesion did prove to be consistent with metastatic melanoma. So what are the many faces of metastatic melanoma? There's an article that was published in the British Journal of Dermatology that discusses the faces of melanoma. One of these includes the blue nevus-like metastatic melanoma, as was exemplified by our case. Here's another lesion that clinically had the appearance of a blue nevus that on dermoscopy had a almost homogeneous blue color that proved to be consist that proved to be a melanoma. There's also the globula nevus-like pattern. Here's a metastatic melanoma with a globular pattern. and the close-up. There's also a globular pattern with a perforum of globules as seen in this case of metastatic melanoma. There is the non-globular nevus-like pattern as exemplified by this case, an angioma-like pattern as seen in this patient with metastatic melanoma, and the close-up. A vascular pattern consisting of torturous blood vessels within a pink papule. Here is a patient with multiple pink papules on the leg, and on close-up one can appreciate these torturous vessels within this pink papule. And lastly, there's the unspecific or nonspecific pattern, as exemplified in this patient with metastatic melanoma. We need to add to this pattern a newly described pattern seen in metastatic melanoma consisting of lines, and these are actually intraluminal uh, vessels that are filled with malignant melanoma cells, giving these bluish lines. And here is a close-up of that pattern. So in conclusion, the differential diagnosis for homogeneous blue lesions in the non-melanocytic group includes basal cell carcinoma, vascular lesions including hemangioma, thrombosed hemangioma, and angiokeratoma, Kaposi sarcoma, and tattoo. In the melanocytic lesions, one needs to consider blue nevus and in the right context, metastatic melanoma. With that, I thank you for your attention. Hope you enjoyed this podcast. Until next time.